Obviously, we're here. What's up, buddy? I didn't know if we were going to be here. I didn't know what's going on. We are live from Satellite 5. It's Brian and Rob. Rob and Brian, whoever, yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's the BKFC show. We're here with you, and, and we're ready to go today. I mean, I mean, we're feeling good, looking better. We could uh, take a burlap sack, put it on, make it look like a cashmere sweater, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You ready for this, Rob? I'm ready for it, brother. Oh, a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm yeah. not really sure what the hell is going to go on today. That's what the fun of the show is. Mm-hmm. I do know there's some huge news in not only BKFC, I'm sure there always is, but combat sports, we're going to talk about two huge stars uh, getting arrested. It's nice that, uh, you know, or getting in trouble with the law, I should say. Mm-hmm. For once, it's not me or you getting in trouble with the law as you hawk your PlayStations or whatever you're doing. Uh, <laughs> can, can you help people where to get that? Get I don't my know. car On the back seat, back of your trunk. Get yeah. my car, car stolen. stolen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rob's got no car. <laughs> Takes Uber to work every day. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the events we have coming up. We're going to talk about everything BKFC. I enjoy getting together with you, uh, the, the watchers, the viewers, the fans, the listeners, every stream week. Stream monsters. I know you did stream monsters. I like yeah. that. The stream of maniacs. Uh, a lot of stuff coming up today. I heard we might have a special guest today if he's uh, available. He might okay. be popping in, the President Dave Feldman. I'm not really? promising you that. I heard a rumor. I don't know. I never know. They tell you everything. <laughs> I know nothing. Uh, so let's get into it. I mean, what do you want to yak about first here? You want to talk about the big news, the, the Connor being arrested again? You want to get into that? <sighs> yeah, which one We're do we really want to arrested. start? Was he arrested? He was obtained? Is it the same thing? I don't know. Yeah, well, apparently reckless driving in Dublin. He was arrested. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. think he was, well, yeah, he was charged with reckless well, it driving. Says here, it says here, I read it, it says alleged mm-hmm. road traffic violations. That was Tuesday. And then uh, uh, an incident of dangerous driving, they called it. And he was later charged and released pending an appearance before a district court at a later date. So there, whatever that now, means. What do you, what are you doing to get arrested for driving a vehicle? Well, I they, mean, they did say he wasn't, he passed the drug and alcohol test. So he wasn't knocking good. back on uh, the, that's the, a start. the Connor drink there. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's a start. A start. I mean, what, what, yeah, I mean, you, you've probably flipped people the bird. What's the worst thing you've done driving before? Like when you get road, I used to have insane road rage mm-hmm. when I was younger. Did you ever have that? Yeah. What, yeah what's like the worst lie. thing you've done to somebody? Uh, not, well, the worst thing I've done. Yeah, or I've done to you, whatever. All right, so I was with, um, uh, so at the time, you know, my buddy was sleeping next to me. I was driving his car back. We were coming from uh, Kung Fu practice. And this dude, <laughs> yeah, I read the Kung uh, Fu. this okay. guy, um, I was 17 at the time. He was 18 or 19. Jacked, like jacked to the gills. Mm-hmm. An amazing, amazing, amazing fighter. Like the dude, we, we used to spar all the time, grapple. I'm like, man, dude, I've never wanted to be on the receiving end. Rob's and getting his credibility today. Yeah, this is credibility yeah. day for Rob. So I'm driving his car back. <laughs> I and love this. And someone cuts me off and I like jam on the brakes really fast. And he like wakes up out of, out of nowhere. And then I got another story about that, about him as well. Great dude, I don't want to paint him. No, I love know, it, paint a, a bad, bad picture. So this guy cuts me off. I jam on the brakes, and he wake, wakes up out of this like you know. And he's a the chillest guy you could ever meet until you get behind the vehicle. Oh, You're right behind the vehicle, dude. You know, behind the wheel, he just goes ape shit, man. Goes nuts, mm-hmm. nuts. Get get up to that mother. Get up to him now. Get up to him. I'm like, dude, I'm like, what do you want me to do? I'm like 17, 140 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I'm like, he was like, you know, one of the instructors at our uh, at our kung fu gym, if you will, for for lack of a better term. You got to show me moves later. Next podcast, you got to like kick me in the dude, face I or something. Be able or punch to, like, me. Kung fu grip. bricks and. Uh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You'll break the table next week. Yeah, Keep I got, going. I what do you got? get my ass kicked uh, quite often. <laughs> so I. Uh, to be able to uh, not get my ass kicked as much. That's good. So we pull up to this guy and, he, and, and my friend grabs like a whole handful of change. Uh-huh. Like he had a whole thing like in his center console, just grabs a whole handful of change and chucks it at the car. And it's like, dee, 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 yeah. that's great. It's ha- it hailed. I'm like, I'm like, oh man. So and the guy, he, just, he loses it. So he's like tailgating us and, you know, we pull over and you know it's like a normal dad and there's like kids in the car <laughs> and i'm like Jeez. man this is terrible and i gotta hold him back one other story to that we're walking to the dunkin donuts by his house okay. we're walking to the dunkin donuts by his house and i do have to you know so he's black right jacked we're walking and some dude's like yo let me get a dollar he's like nah you know i i don't have it i'm good all right whatever 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 you know fuck you blah 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 shitty watch he's like (laughs) right so make a long story short we're leaving and he was like he was like oh oh he had some stuff outside of his car like martial arts stuff oh he's like oh you can fight you can fight what's up what's up what's up i'm like man this guy's gonna get murdered 
and I'm holding him back and he's like, all right, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. And I was like, dude, it's not worth it. Let's go. I'm walking to the car. Yeah. Yeah. You better walk away. You mother. And of course he drops the end. No. And, and like, I was holding, like I was strong at the time. This is like a couple years later. I was strong at the time. Man. I was fit. <laughs> time, I was like, you know, 20 pounds heavier, <laughs> you know, working out, doing the whole nine yeah. deep in it. And like, he broke my grip. Like I was a child. And he sprinted after the guy. And I'm like, man. So, yeah, that was, uh, you that's know, a little rages? bit of, yeah, that's my road rage incident. I'll, 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 to make long story short, it was a big, that. bad day for that guy. Very similar, and I'll make this quick. Um, I was having road rage when I was much younger. I was in, I've calmed down a lot with that. Mm-hmm. I don't do it anymore. But when I was young, I would, every word would come out of my mouth, bad words, everything. And I did the same thing he did. Only difference was I didn't stay like side by side with him. We had to go up and when we went up, it was right by where Y100 used to be. I know it's a local reference, but we went up Mm -hmm. and you go, I went up this way. He went up that way. So he's got to turn this way and I got to turn this way. And I knew that's what he was doing. So I sped my car up. We were fighting for like five minutes on the road and I did the same thing. I grabbed a whole handful of change. I can't even believe I did this. And when he turned one way, I turned the other way. I just took my change and threw it in his car. Like hail. I, I couldn't believe That's I did. That's funny, I, man. Yeah. Same. So me and your, me and your muscle guy would be good friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's my road rage. I don't know what Connor did. If there was road rage involved, I wouldn't mm-hmm. want to have road rage with him. I'd be done. Uh, that'll be interesting to see what happens. But now, was there any footage that came out about that or anything? I'd love to see Connor. I just saw the mugshot. Joel Jackin. Yeah. How'd the mugshot look? I didn't even see that yet. Yeah, he didn't look up. He didn't look too nice. I'll tell you who looked, <laughs> dude. He didn't look too happy. Excuse yo, me. Yo, Game Bread looked great in his mugshot. He has hair all done nice. All he back. looked good, dude. He looked better than I see him half the time. I usually mugshots aren't that flattering. So congrats Man. to him. But that's the other thing. I mean, so with with Connor, I want to stay on that. Oh, for okay, a second. please. I mean, apparently he's changed. A lot of people are saying the money has gotten to him. Some yeah. people are saying drugs, alcohol. I, I, I can't speak to that because I have no mm-hmm. no idea what he does. I'm not going to assume, nor am I going to. Can't do that. Yeah, you know put him under that scope i do see a change in his personality obviously since he's gotten money and it's not something it's not cool man i I, i'm not vibing with it i used to love this guy like this was the guy i was a plumber i had nothing i worked really hard i bust my ass at the gym you know i fight from you know for my country whatever right i represent the irish you know awesome gets this whole trove of fans behind him and i was one of them but the instance with uh, you know punching a guy at a bar and getting arrested and the whole dolly thing you know i wasn't cool with that yeah was i understood that it was insane yeah i understood we're it. never going to yeah. work with that man again yeah. <laughs> okay dana go ahead i understood <laughs> it i understood where he was coming from um but you know i just think that you know he's turned into this megalomaniac like i gotta buy all those these watches i gotta flaunt you know he, he became the embodiment of like social media would that like, happen to you i mean if you were mm-hmm. him would that happen to you i mean obviously we'd want you to buy a new watch i mean that'd be one <laughs> thing you'd have to buy but but uh, i think I as we started but seriously if you got that kind of money and i'd be interested to see what the chat thinks too i mean you, you're you're i would like to i would like to like say i think it's not going to i would like to say it would not but, but it almost has to a little human, bit right i think you have to surround yourself with a very very tight knit of people that have known you before They're you became check you. popular, yeah. a celebrity, rich that can say, "Hey, this is this is who you are." Let's let's not de- deviate too far from that. Yeah, I, I mean, you got to be tough. checked. I, I don't know. I'll never have that amount of money. Mm-hmm. But if I did, I, I wouldn't be like mean. The only thing I would change is I would do the Scrooge McDuck and I would mm-hmm. swim in my money. I'd yeah. bathe in it. I'd probably make love in my money. Like my if I ever make a million dollars, I'm going to put lucky it all penny. Yeah, I'm just, lucky dime. <laughs> lucky dime. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what a dime or penny was. I'd be like, hey, get out of here with that. <laughs> I'd make it rain. I'd be, I'd be ridiculous. I'd buy like pimp suits and walk around in them. I'd do fun things like that if I got money. So we'll see. You'll know if I have money one day if I show up with a feather in my cap and like a, yeah. a big pimp suit. <laughs> all right. You want to talk about uh, game bread? Yeah, talk What's about arrested. Yeah, again, I, I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. His mugshot, I saw it. And I was like, wow, he looks pretty good. Because usually they don't in mugshots. So this is a different situation. Yeah, so man. Conor McGregor was whoever he was. He turns into this, I guess. Maybe he was this person the entire time. We just didn't know who his true personality was, where he was transformed. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jorge. We know who he is. Yeah, we know who he, he is. Hasn't changed this once. is Yeah. This is the guy that was street fighting in the early days back with... Um, who was it? Oh, man. Kimbo Slice. Kimbo, yeah. Right? Out of Miami, making a couple hundred bucks, you know, in bare knuckle brawls. This guy is Miami. This guy is the street. Yeah, man. This guy is about as real as it gets. Maybe about a little bit too real where it's time to say, hey, let, let's scale it back a little bit. Um, I think Nate Diaz, I'm not sure if we have any uh, Twitter clips from that. I think Nate Diaz was like, yo, man, you ratted on yourself. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, okay. so... Looking at the world of combat sports and how 
the professional athletes have responded to this. Some people are like, you know, wow, man, I, I, I can't believe you did that. Definitely out of character. And other people are like, he deserved it. Out now, of character? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I guess, you know, you lost the fight. You know, I, I think it was Ben Askren. I was like, look, man, you had five rounds to fight the dude. What are you doing fighting him outside? I'm par- oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. You're saying it didn't show character, not out of character. Do yeah. Like that. Okay. But then you see, I, I think it was uh, his manager posted um, bragging about it. Jorge posted on Twitter. His manager about po- it. I didn't see that. I see a plethora of different things. It's like, and that's something that's not something I would brag about, man. This is just me personally. It's like settle things inside the ring. I agree. Whatever he said. You know, what kind of society were like, you know, we, you know, everyone's getting so bent out of shape because of words, you know, like, oh, you know, this guy says some bad stuff about me. I get it. I understand. It sucks. Talks about your family. You know, it's disrespectful. I think Khabib want this whole thing, you know, family first. That's cornball stuff, man. You're going to attack someone on the street and, and support that. It, it, you know, come on, man. Even even so, it's like, look, man. Fighting on the street, you're a professional athlete. You get paid to bad do this. Look, it's a bad look. Yeah. Save it, make your money in the ring or the cage or wherever. Save it, save it, save it. Yeah. Take it up to the let's line. Not pretend, let's not pretend like we don't know what time it is either. They're selling the fight. That's the goal is yeah. to sell the fight, to sell pay-per-views. Mm-hmm. Now, if you got into it out, you know, you got into it at the steakhouse or if you got into it at the Wendy's parking lot, you saw them, yo, man, you know, blah, blah, blah. You guys had words and you guys went at it. I get it. But from the videos that are out there, sneaking someone, stealing someone, jumping someone, come on, man, you better than that. Yeah. I, I, you know, the, well, I, the videos you talk about, they're saying mm-hmm. I didn't see the whole video, but there's something. Here's a quote here: He's over here swinging, trying to come me, and I ran. Dot dot dot. That's to uh, okay. say, say what um, uh, Covington was saying, and then more. Uh, so he did. All right. So he did not. So again, there's conflicting reports out there. There's video that he was standing. Um, so you know, he, he this got report, jumped. I should say, is from uh, is from. TMZ and also if you haven't heard Shout yet out Nate Diaz looking <laughs> you know we're in a weird time when Nate Diaz is the most responsible person <laughs> in combat that's sports. some trouble dude that's crazy yeah but as on, you, look at this dude Nate Diaz man come on he knows what time it is so as you're I real, think there's right? one thing you're leaving out here gentlemen wh- wh- what you're not considering hello Evan how are you hey <laughs> well Masvidal came back. back. Get in the it. screen. I want to see your face. Oh, hey. There you go. The doors yeah. open in the background. Yeah, what are you doing back there? No, fr- <laughs> no frills here. <laughs> um, but anyway, he had he's 0-3 since that, that uh, what's his name? Ben Askren ben knockout. knockout. Mm-hmm. So what's next for him? I think he might have had to do this to kind of I make agree. some buzz to make the rematch happen. I agree. I mean, it's a page out of the McGregor book. It's the same thing with, with Khabib and throwing the, the dolly and – he, but, he took a little slap on the wrist. He's already out on bail. It was like a fifteen thousand dollar bail, which is nothing. Yeah, he's for him. out quick. Fifteen. I think he. I think he was just setting up a fight. I. You know, I was. It's funny you say that, Evan, because as Rob was talking, I was letting him make his point, and that, that's a great point. Thank you mm-hmm. for it. Uh, I was kind of kind of say the same thing. You were saying, "What does the world come to?" and stuff like that. I, I do believe that fighters or anybody that's trying to get publicity uh, will do that and will take take the hit, so to speak, part of mm-hmm. the pun of going to jail or. Of, getting the bond like okay. he said 15 grand's nothing to him like he's a guy from the streets so he's going to make himself relevant uh, i've seen that happen with other celebrities too um i i don't even want to mention the one's name because i mm-hmm. don't agree with what he did but i feel like his outburst and stuff even after he uh got charged with what he did mm-hmm. he outburst in the courtroom and i wonder if he's still not trying to make himself relevant for when he gets out you know reality show where i've changed my life sure. there's a lot of things you can do because nowadays we see it in our own we can promote enough but if you get a real life story that people can sink their teeth in it's going to be on tmz and stuff yeah more people are going to pay attention i agree with evan i don't think he's stupid i think that he's that this is very well planned for him and i, I think that i don't know man I do. listen i don't know who was it who was the um he he was on the patriots he was a wide receiver hernandez i think Talk to the wrong right. guy. I number eight, number I eighty-five. He killed, he, he killed somebody over some. Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. Aaron, oh, Aaron, that's okay, what I'm yeah, saying. yeah. You come from a life of you know that was his background. You know, it was very checkered past yeah. crime. You're now making millions in the professional football league. What are you doing? Gang banging and just like you got to you got to let it they go. Don't know that they don't know. They don't know what they don't know. That's that's right? the culture that they're coming from. And they always say that if you're coming from that culture, you want to bring the people up. Mm-hmm. You don't want to sink back down to their level. Get your money, save your money and help, help the people that are close to you and bring them up with you. Unfortunately, we we see that sometimes, but we yeah. don't always see that. So that that's I mean, what that is. I, I just don't think, think it's he's, the culture. Uh, me personally, in. I don't think I don't think, you know, game bread was selling the fight. I think that's who he is. And, you know, they had words. 
again, you know, I apologize if I'm wrong with the whole, you know, he stole him, he snuck him, he yeah. didn't see it coming because I saw in a couple of reports that he got, you know, pseudo jumped. Well, right? yeah, Covington also said, I think I ever heard him saying something like, how do you know I was here or something? And then somebody said, it's all over the internet, wherever you are. Like that. So, okay. so maybe he did kind of sneak him. Again, I don't know. I've seen yeah. a lot of different reports. But do you think, here's another way to kind of tilt this. Do you think that maybe he didn't think he was going to sell the fight at the time or didn't try to get publicity at the time? I don't think it's anything but, to do but, with selling but, the fight, to but, be honest. hold on. He was but with the Nelk boys, though. Afterwards, afterwards, like now, do you think mm-hmm. he looks at the Sunball parts and go, okay, I'm, I'm in this now. I can use this to further my what I need to be. Do you, I think that'd well, be smart I business. I don't think, it, me personally, when I look at him, I don't think his stock is lower after that performance. I mean, you just can't put him in with a, a collegiate all-star top tier wrestler. No, but not even get him stock- someone that you know. Put him in with Diaz again. That would be an amazing. I would. Fight. I'd love to Especially see that. Diaz. That probably, that's why Diaz yeah. probably wrote that. That's he's trying. <laughs> he's trying to get. His, everyone's trying to. Yeah, get Nate jump Diaz off doesn't this. have to do any of that. I don't think Jorge has to do it either. I don't People think he love. Ha- I don't look. I don't think he who has they are to and where it. they come from. I, I'm just telling you what mm-hmm. I agree with Evan. I I kind of see that, but my do you question think he is, did it to sell a future fight. I, Evan. I, 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 Evan. Do you think he's doing? He did that to sell the fight. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be. He did it for one reason or another. I think he's, he just did it. If you're weighing out the pros and cons, you go, okay, this. You know how the UFC likes to run with you know mm-hmm. real stuff. Um, it's great for marketing. He was. Um, I mean, another thing, Colby was with the Nelk Boys, which they have that whole sort of partnership going on with Dana and the UFC. So, I mean, listen, if I was if I was the Nelk Boys and I wanted content. If I could, I would be post and knowing what's going on, I'd be posting, hey, I'm with Colby. We're in Miami, hoping that George shows up because you know how much mm-hmm. traffic that drove to them. And you know what I mean? I agree. Yep. So I think hoping, it was legit. I think, yeah, hoping something would have yeah. came out. Maybe, maybe they bit off a little bit more than they could chew. Maybe they were just expecting a confrontation and no, it turned yeah, they, into. They, good for them. That's yeah. even better for them. I don't think Colby's going to press charges. I, I think, don't either. I think he's already pressed charges. Really? Well, he got out on bail. I mean, no, he was arrested because, like, if you but assault I think somebody. He's, yeah, no, I know. It but says I he was arrested sure. here. It says he was arrested for. Somebody uh, Somebody confirmed that. Aggra- I want to say aggravated read... battery mm-hmm. with a mask and criminal mischief is what he got arrested for. It says on TMZ. That's what I I think that Colby is pressing charges. I think I've read that somewhere. I, if I'm Kobe, I'd be calling him and say, look, let's build a fight now. This shouldn't happen. Let's make a lot of money together. I'm going to press charges on you. I, I, I would Dude, work. No, I, I'm not so saying that's what I would do. One, that's what I would do. Listen, look, look, Col- Col- no, Col- no, Kobe no, no, Covington, no, 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 wait, is, Covington. A, is a good seller to the fight. Exactly. He's a pro he's wrestler at heart. That, he's not about that life. I would, he's well, not. Well, maybe I he's figuring out to be. He got his chip tooth, uh, his tooth <laughs> chip <laughs> not knocked out. And now he's like, you know what? I don't want any part of this. I don't think there's going to be any rematch. Yeah. I'm going to move on and but, I'm going to sell again, another again, fight. I don't from, think from, he's... From Game Bread side of things, you look at him, uh, do you think, this is the question I asked you earlier, do you mm-hmm. think that even if it wasn't meant to do that, now he sees this big publicity he's gotten off and now he goes, huh, I'm in it now. Let's capitalize more. Is that smart business? I, I mean, you can argue that. The, the, the promoting game and fighting oh, and everything a, right, here's, a, here's, an even be, here's an even better question. Will UFC go down that road again, just like Conor McGregor? Like, oh, you know, we don't want to, we don't want any parts of that. We want to make money. We don't want any oh, parts oh, of that. Oh, oh, we have breaking news! All right, what do we got? What do we what got? Have, what do we have? <laughs> oh, well, a female <laughs> just tried to carjack me on the south side of my car. <laughs> David <laughs> Rickles Dave survives. Rick the caveman. Brutal Whoa. street attack. Whoa! Look at this. Sixteen minutes ago, breaking news. Sixteen minutes ago, can we get him on the phone? Why? I know that... we just had him last week. Can we get his side of the oh, story? Oh, that would be great if we get him on the phone immediately. Now, now, couldn't, couldn't. Uh, I, we were talking about on? filming him. That would have been great if we would have caught that on film, man. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Yeah, he owns three car washes, uh, Rick's car wash. So, so he goes around. Are you like, trying to get four dollars and seventy five cents from yeah, somebody's I, machine. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe he was like cleaning out the machines. I don't know how that stuff works. Like, there's probably money in there. So he got carjacked. That's the last guy. What is this like going in fifty seconds? And Why was, is everybody carjacking people? That's all the of big sudden? thing. Everyone loves carjack. But would you look if I saw the caveman <laughs> what are you and you're from that area? And catalytic converters. <laughs> You know, you know who he is. Like I, uh, price of metals going through the roof. <laughs> and, and here's a question for the chat too. Like, you know, we're all we're all taught. Mm-hmm. As men, never to lay a hand on a woman, which I try agree to with. carjack me, man. But you're if, gonna, you're you're a gonna... woman, if you're a woman, you're getting carjacked. Are you allowed to punch I'm her? Gonna, I'm going to treat you like a collegiate swimmer. I'm going <laughs> to punch you in the face. A collegiate swimmer? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I, I'd, I'd be curious what the chat would say that. Like, if you're being carjacked Male, by a female, woman. female, dog, bear, who cares? You're trying to carjack me? If you got a gun on me, right? That, hey, you got to swing. Your life could be on the line. I agree. You have to think about that, I agree, first and man. foremost. You, I agree. Your life, your family. Yeah, that goes out the window. I don't care who you are. Yeah, right. It yeah. should. I know. It's me personally. 
Yeah, I wonder what the chat thinks. And by the way, we always say that the chat is on YouTube if you're watching. I know they mm -hmm. carry this in the app as well. So if you want to see what the chat says, you can kind of go check out YouTube. There's a live yeah. chat going right now. And They're not too happy about the MMA talk right now. I figure they I wouldn't be. Say. That's that's. I figure the same thing. I, I hate talking about it. <laughs> I like being I don't. And stuff. The MMA gossip boys. <laughs> not me. I just do what's on my format <laughs> right here. I do what's given to me. We're reporting on combat sporting news. Uh, I love the comments. I, so with that, <laughs> so everybody on the transition now. No, with that, go ahead, channel, gossip boys. The channel's moving. I, oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. Talk about that. Yeah. So the channel is moving from this channel. It's good. This channel will be exclusive to BKFC and BKFC only content. It's going to be moving to the Bare Knuckle Show, where there will be a plethora of content. There will be in live studio guests, so you can hear everything from the latest live in, in studio sporting. guests. You mean yes, <laughs> yes. In live studio, in live, in live. <laughs> They're gonna be in here live. Fuck we're, it, we'll do it live, right? What a, what a great it's way. To, by the way, Rob, what a great way to bring our new channel out and sell that is people are shitting on us in the comments uh, saying we hate MMA talk. Well, we're gonna go elsewhere and, and you know talk about its followers. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I mean the, you can you can find <laughs> all this channel will now be exclusive for all things fighters, all things combat sports related. It's bare knuckle fighting championship, the behind the scenes, <laughs> the one on ones. <laughs> I'm just laughing. You make me. I love you, Rob. So no, no, it, it'll be exclusive for that stuff. We'll still be putting and out Joe content. Rogan, man, don't read the comments. Who? Oh, <laughs> uh, listen. Nah, the fans are awesome, though. You Even guys are haters, great. Man. I want to hear about bare knuckle too. I want to talk about mm -hmm. bare knuckle. Obviously, the BKFC show. So I look. I follow the gossip stuff with the UFC, and I'll watch the fights. Um, but I'm always game to talk about BKFC. So let's talk more about that. Make them well, happy. Jorge was a BKFC fighter. Ah. Kimbo was a BKFC fighter. That's true. These are street fighters. There was a dude this named, there was a local, streets. I think it was a local dude. He was like a rip off of Kimbo that I met years ago. His mm -hmm. name was, I think it was Mike Oak Tree Brown, and he's, he like looked Oak like Tree. A, yeah. It was like Man, Oak Tree. was he punching like he would punch Oak Yeah, he tried out a Philly. Did he really? Tryouts. He yeah. would punch Oak Trees all the time to toughen his hands. <laughs> I met him like 15 years ago. Nuts, that, so. It's Man. actually on the app. Oh, is it? That, 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 are on the app. He's on there. He's on there. Okay, look up Oak Tree. I don't know if he's still yeah. around, but I met him like 15 years ago at like a police at a pal, police athletic league boxing. Mm -hmm. He was there. He's crazy. Uh, all right, let's talk more about BKFC. BKFC.com, grab the app. There's a nice little plug for that. The best value in combat mm -hmm. sports at only $4.99. You can see a lot of stuff going on. Matter of fact, I don't know if this made the app, but I know it was on our socials. You can follow us there as well. Uh, that's at uh, Bare Knuckle FC. Uh, I believe Evan put it up on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? Where, where are we at on Instagram now? How many we followers? Talk, we're we talking about goats? Eight. Eight, eight what? Eight eighty nine. Wow, that's growing. I love that. Thank we you. We talking about Cranston, goats. Cranston just texted me and said, "Shut the podcast door." So hold on, I got to adjust. <laughs> He's giving you orders. He's yeah. watching. He said it looks like trash. Thank you, DC. He's not happy with the look. No, it looks terrible. <laughs> Evan, jump to it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, DC, for saying that. So let's talk about uh, you know growing our socials, which is awesome. That means more more people are, are seeing our content, what we have to offer. Mm -hmm. But I love different content i want to talk and about lorenzo hunt that's where we're go. headed here lorenzo hunt's in puerto rico he's training ahead of his fight with joe riggs of course april 30th great mm -hmm. falls montana uh and he's 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 already there and i was actually talking to lorenzo the other day and one of the questions we asked him was this is kind of off the air were you doing the goat stuff yet what's going on with the goat stuff he's going ah, i haven't tried it yet you know that's elvin's thing and mm -hmm. elvin brito by the way elvin brito training a lot of fighters out of puerto rico we're seeing more and more who are, who are doing very well because he's like a scientist at bare mm -hmm. knuckle According to us and most people, Mike Richmond doesn't think that way. We'll talk about that another time. Mm -hmm. um, but I asked him about the goats because I want to see if he's doing the goats. Nah, nah, that's not my thing. Da, 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 da. I worry about my hands. He said he would take his hands. He goes down to the beach and takes his hand and rubs them in sand and stuff to get them toughened school, up. That's man. one of the things he does. But he didn't do the goats. And then, it, like, I don't know, later that day, we must have, you know, it's Lorenzo Hunt, the juggernaut. You're going to challenge him. He's going to show you. <laughs> Even when you're not trying to challenge, he's going to show you. So I saw that come out, and Evan put that up. It's him going to head-to-head -head with a goat. Do we have video of that? I don't, I don't know if we, I think we do. Yeah. Let's yeah, watch video of that. Play. We're playing it. Oh, I don't see I it. Think. Okay. Look at the screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll Hold get on. it together. Where are we at? There you go. Oh, there Look. it is behind me. Look at this. I mean, the neck strength in that. The neck <laughs> Look at his and, face. And the leg strength. <laughs> Who needs old school neck bridges? Look at that. Look, yeah, Lorenzo, like, yeah. I wish I could hear what he's saying. He's talking to the goat, too. He's saying, I'm the goat. The goat won. 10 8, 10 8 poncho. All right, so, well, we'll get to Taylor in a second here. There's something we're going to talk about with Taylor, too, in a minute, but let's, let's focus on Lorenzo. Lorenzo Hunt is a human Highlight viral girl. machine <laughs> from lifting cars <laughs> to battling goats. This dude's awesome, man. He, he really, <laughs> he's he, flying over like five humans. So, 
I was joking, but seriously, the neck strength mm-hmm. and leg strength it takes to do something like that is pretty yeah, incredible. It is. And he's, he's in Puerto Rico having a great camp. It sounds like an extended camp. I know his dad's going to be joining him. His dad comes down there and, and helps train and stuff okay. like that. So I'm looking forward to see what comes uh, with his fight with Joe Riggs out, out of the training and all. Because Joe Diesel Riggs, no joke either. Combat sports vet. Biggest test to date. Yeah, it's going to be mm-hmm. interesting to see what happens. But, you know, the thing that I thought was great is Lorenzo's always confident. The guy never lacks confidence, right? Mm-hmm. And he said on this interview I was doing with him the other day, it was the best. He just goes, if you, if you, if you gamble on this fight, if you, if you pick Joe Riggs to win, if you lay your money mm-hmm. on Joe Riggs, he goes, lay all your money, bet your house, bet the house, Joe Riggs. I want really? you to bet. Yeah, I was like, what's he talking about? Why? He goes, if you're gambling, bet the house. He kept saying, bet the house on Joe Riggs. Is he, he throwing the fight? No, he said, because he said, if you bet the house, you're going to lose, and I want you to be homeless for betting against me. <laughs> and I'm like, Lorenzo, that's a great, that's a great line, man. That is, that is great. That's a great line. Ain't no champ till he says so. Yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to that fight more and more. That's going to be mm-hmm. a great fight. Uh, BKFC.com, grab that app, $4.99. Again, that's in Great Falls, Montana. We'll release more on the card. Keep checking BKFC.com for that. Tickets April are on 30th. now. Are they? Good. All right, well, buy those tickets. That's going to be great. Now, we briefly uh, just saw it pop up there before. Taylor Starling. We want to touch on this. I think we should. So before we say anything, I think we should just go right to the video, play the video. So if okay. you haven't seen the shit, and I want to thank, before we do this, I want to thank Mike and Mish, the podcast. Great yeah. guys. They actually took everything and they edited it into one. So check out Mike and Mish. Great show, great guys. And I love the content they come out with. Uh, so we lifted this off them, but we'll show you the, the Taylor Starling and Christine Faria drama. I know you guys see my post yesterday, and apparently it made some noise, and a little birdie named Christine Ferreira wanted to speak up, and I'm calling you out, Christine Ferreira. I'm ready to fight. You have what I want. I came to Bare Knuckle for one thing and one thing only, and that was to become the world champion and to get that belt. I ain't scared of you. Not everybody's all scared of you like you think. So Bare Knuckle, send me the contract and hold on to that belt, Christine, while you fucking have it, because I'm coming for you. Oh, Miss Sterling calling me out the champ. You think you want to smoke, little girl? But check it out, you ain't gonna go past two or three with me. I promise you're gonna give me my historical knockout. <laughs> Fighting cans, mama. You never face a heart like this, you never face skill like this. You better train hard because I guarantee you they're gonna give you that fight. You're number six, baby couple observations i just want to say right away since we saw christine faria i do love i, I know it's very simple and, and people are gonna be like oh you're weird but i love whenever she does her thing she always gives you the because ah! i like love it i just think it's great when she ends with that kind of stuff because i think she truly feels that way as well she should uh also you know a little birdie christine faria that's gonna piss christine faria off why would you want to piss christine faria off so and what, then, what started it she said she posted something christina faria she, i think she said who should i i think the post was something like who do you want to see me fight next or, or mm. something like that and i guess people were saying that i didn't read all the comments i did see that um she said i'm not scared of you to christine faria i'm gonna say this i've said she it asked times. for the fight i want to go on record though rob i'm scared of christine faria as, as <laughs> i am i'm scared of her i mean she's tough now, Taylor Starling, we've seen... Uh, if she tried carjacking me, I'd back up everything I'd say. I'd be like, here you go. Here's the keys. I'm out. <laughs> Take it. It won't be the first time someone stole my car. Oh, man. I, that's right. That's a, you're on number two or three, I think. Uh, but if you look at, at this Taylor Starling, I think Taylor's tough. I'm not going to say she's not mm-hmm. tough. We've seen her in there. We've seen her fight. She's tough. Christine Faria, my opinion... Tough, skilled, and not that Taylor's not skilled. I, I, I would watch the fight. I feel like everyone's been wanting to see this fight. I know Mike and Mish have. I saw Joe Miggs talking about it. I've seen all the podcasts on socials. They're getting excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, what would you think? I mean, do you think it's going to happen? Do you, what do you think is going to come of it if it does happen? There's so much to talk about here. Yeah, yeah. I think that's an extremely tough fight for Taylor Storm. Me too. Very, very tough. But she fight. knows that. She's going to try to come ready. You know, mm-hmm. she seems like she's very ready. Now, is this a, a situation where she believes she's ready because the people around her are telling her she's ready and she kind of feels ready and maybe she's not or she truly is ready? Like, is there people filling her head? You got to go for that title. Do you think it's that? Or do you think it's something yeah. she just wants in her heart? I would like to see her against like a Britain heart. Me too. Right? If... And the reason why I say that is because Britton Hart is a very seasoned fighter, very great fighter. Um, if she can get past Britton Hart, I would say absolutely. I think that would be the fight to make. I or, would or like even to just, see Or her. even do a good mm-hmm. showing against Britton Hart. Not even yeah. get past, like if, if it's an amazing showing, then maybe you know we want to see this fight. I, that That's my thought. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry, Rob. No, 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 no. I agree 100%. I would like to see how that fight pans out. 
I I would like to see that fight before her challenging for the belt. But hey, I mean, her camp could be going wonderful. She feels great. And maybe she sees something. Maybe she knows something from analyzing we her don't. fights now. Yeah. That's a, that's a really interesting thing to say. Sorry, I'd love to weigh in, but Please. absolute chaos back here. What's going on? Who's I all got, there? I got Senior in here. I got Diamond <laughs> Dave's here. Nick back there. I got Vespa. Damon. It's a, Damon's uh, got celebrity oh, boxing. No, no, no. 16 minutes of no, fame, no. baby. Bring, chaos let's bring the Feldmans in. Bring in, the no, brothers bring in the oldest brother. Bring in <laughs> the king of celebrity <laughs> boxing. I want them both in Come on here. I want them both in here. There he is. Oh, Go on in. Damon Feldman, I'm gonna stand up. The one and only. Damon Feldman, let's get him a chair. Can we get him a chair? Let's see, man. Let's Damon see. Feldman busted in. Dave. <laughs> we need let's a, get him chair a chair. Here, sit down, man. Sit on the floor. <laughs> I'm not giving you my chair. Get out of here. We'll get you a chair. Sit down. Look, Damon, how are you? We're gonna get him a chair here. Talking to the mic, brother. It's not on yet. Great job. Turn on. We didn't know he was coming in. Thank you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put us over, wait till the mic's on. So uh, the king of celebrity boxing is here, Damon Feldman. We're very excited to uh, 16 minute man, right? 16th minute. 16th minute. Yeah. I want the 17th minute. I want something. (laughs) Sit down, buddy. Make yourself comfortable. Don't trip. Here, you're all messed up. You know, so Damon's. I want to say something. uh, Can I say something? Quick background. Let's let's for the viewers that don't know who you are, quick background on who you are, your professional experience in the ring, give a little oh, context and it. your opinion, you know, holds a whole lot of weight. Well, he's my brother. I'm not his brother. Now, <laughs> um, yeah, God, me and cool. Dave, you know, he's my brother and I'm a former undefeated fighter. So I'm a celebrity boxing promoter, man. I'm just doing what I love. Can awesome, I say man. something about both Feldman brothers? Uh, I find that when they're messing around with you and like, they, you know, they're boxers, they're mm-hmm. fighters and they like to kind of, you know, come up and hit you like gently. They think it's gently. <laughs> this guy. So I, I back in the day when I was younger and I knew these guys, we'd go out sometimes and this guy would have a drink or two and, and he'd hit me and I'd be like, Damon, you're hitting me hard. No, nah, no, nah, my man. No, nah. boom. I go across the bar. Dave, same thing around the office. I'll get a shot, and I'll be like, "Oh, I think my liver's bleeding." If that's possible. <laughs> well, Dave has that punch. Dave has that punch. It's like me. It's like the weight coming behind. He has the punch where the knuckles go in, mm. and it does hurt. So yeah. Not, so you heard fun. you heard the interview. You saw what Taylor Starling. What are your thoughts on that matchup? I, I think uh, Taylor is great. You know, like I watched her. I just hate when she gets her face busted up, but she's a real cool girl. Yeah. And uh, I, I think she's going to do well. Do you see her and Christine going? Do you see that matchup? Is that a matchup you want to see? I like both of them. They're really nice. And um, give it the easy response. <laughs> I like I'm both of them. They're really nice. This yeah, is not the Damon I know. But I, <laughs> I like them. I'm fans of both of them. I just think it's going to be. I think, but if they're going to get it's like sort of like Mickey Ward. I don't know if anybody knows that yeah. Mickey mm-hmm. Ward and Arturo Gatti was they were great friends, but they beat their fucking faces in. You know it's what I mean? And I think that's what's going to happen with them. I'd like to see Taylor face somebody that Christine faced first, like a Britton Hart, maybe, just so we can compare. You know what I mean? See, well, welcome he, to there, the there chat. Was, yeah, that was like ten minutes ago. There's <laughs> chaos in here. No, we said that. Yeah, that, well, uh, no, there's chaos in there. You got Damon yeah, and Dave in there. I know. I yeah. want to add something on that Damon didn't say yet, and I'm going to do it for him. So anybody, you know, as far as that fight goes, he loves them both. And in a couple years, when they're ready, I'm sure he'll be approaching them for celebrity boxing. Am I wrong in saying that? I'm already approaching them. (laughs) (laughs) Of course you are. No, I'm joking. (laughs) No, these, like Christine, like she's awesome. Like that was a great fight. I was there. It was was really exciting. You enjoyed Knuckle Mania. You enjoyed Knuckle Mania. I know you were there. I saw you. Yeah, I sat like, you know, 20 rows back, but uh, it's still good. (laughs) Did you you sit 20? Your brother made you sit 20 rows back? I didn't get my VIP, uh, you know what I mean? Are you kidding me? You really sat that far back? (laughs) Yeah, man. Uh, He knows you have good eyesight. That's why. like this guy, but I always, I mean, I make my way towards (laughs) the front. He invited me to Celebrity Boxing. Oh, Dave's here. Oh, we got Dave. Why can't we get the Feldman Brothers on here? I brought my wife down to Celebrity Boxing and he got us great seats in the back row behind him. Stop it, man. This Saturday. Janitor's closet. This Saturday is the big fight. You're coming. You're going to sit in the ring. You're going to see if you can get me in. Uh, I'm gonna try. I have partners now. I mean, oh. no, 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 you're in. You know that. You're What's VIP. the big fight this Saturday? Talk about it real quick. Now we got uh, Al B. Shore, the army legend, Al B. Shore. making his make celebrity boxing debut. It's all over the news, man. Worldwide, he's on Good Morning America this morning. Oh, that's cool. Is Caitlyn Jenner excited. gonna be there? Yeah, uh, Flavor, what's Flav up with Caitlyn Jenner? Flav. 
He says, Ring announced the debut. Um, and Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Tretch, so OPP. How can I explain yeah, it? I take yeah. it frame by frame it. It's cool. What does kid, OPP Kid and play. Kid and play is performing. The dude with the hair? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, house really party. Sweet. All right. Really? It's, it's I awesome. might come to yeah, this. Where's on, this at? It's at the Showboat Hotel. We're on pay per view, ppv.com, and all over. Big plugs from Damon Feldman. Caitlyn Jenner's going to be there too, right? No, Caitlyn's in I think that's uh, another Miami. Miami uh, okay. you're, dude, you're, you're really getting these celebrities coming in, man. I mean, this I'm, is huge. I'm, my brother's my idol, man. You know what I mean? He's doing this thing. Any chance that we'll so ever see... I want to see celebrity Feldman versus Feldman match. Will we ever see that? Who would win? Ooh. Come on, man. Ooh. Do do? Let's go at it right now. Come on, square up, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. Square up. Do it on, on camera, at yeah, least. Get, Take get, a step. No, you can't see him. You, you can't, can't see him. See, we need cameras in us. Come back here and do it. Here. Swear off. There you oh, go. Do it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, man? Do it. Who do you want? No, you want it. <laughs> You know what? You know what's funny, Rob? They're joking, but I saw their yeah, eyes. In two and seconds, they're, they're they place in the room. office yeah. all the time. They've yeah. torn yeah. apart the upstairs. We'll be, you know, me and Dave will be messing around. All of a sudden, they'll hit me in the nose. I'm like, I'll hit you in the nose, and we just start going crazy. That's what I've happens. seen them fight in the lobby here at work before. It's crazy. Uh, so, did you guys uh, obviously? You know, is there a difference in age? What was the weight class difference? Have you guys ever sparred before? Yeah, like seriously yeah, we, sparred. We we well, we always start off playing around and it becomes mm -hmm. that serious. That's always. what happens. All right, have you guys ever actually fought? Dad had to pull you apart. Any issues? Oh, you know, you're younger, yeah, man. Me and my brother always have the edge. See, it doesn't matter if cameras are on us, anything. It's true. It's that little edge. We love each other, but mm -hmm. we'll still <laughs> well, go got, at it right away. And who got the best out of it? Ooh. Well, <laughs> recently <laughs> Dave did because he pushes me around. Gilly the kid, my man. Thanks, oh, there guys. you go. Yeah, That's big B event this weekend. Girls, that girls match is going to be great. Well, well, Jen look, look at him she's, trying to get off great. this to go back to promoting the event. Anyway, my, bro <laughs> my brother. Chat's going to murder us for this Peter one. Guns is there? Is that, is that, is that the, 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 the Lord, uh, Lord? The rapper. Yeah, yeah, from back in the day. I forgot yeah, about Peter Guns. He's best friends with Shaq, actually. Uh, but me and Kim back Drop to me and my brother. Dropper. Let's let's do it, man. <laughs> he's promoting it. the fight. I Come love on. it. Where do we do it? Do we do it under celebrity boxing rules or bare knuckle rules? That's the thing. You don't know what it takes for bare knuckle. Well, then let's do it as a boxing match. You don't match. have what it takes. Well, will you do it as a boxing match? I'll do it as a boxing match. And three I'll give, three uh, one minute rounds. Well, I, the only three one minute the only rounds thing in is, a boxing match. The only, three, three, the only thing is, I want to be transparent. I asked my brother to do a celebrity match. I mean, a charity match with him. And he didn't want to donate his winnings to charity. Yeah, right. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, that's not true. true. Oh, everybody, that's, that's, not true. Not, that's not true. Do you want to know why that works out? Come because he ain't going to win. <laughs> yeah, Come I, on, I man. Why that's not true? Because hold do on, you guys want to see, see a fight? fight? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. He As, told me. Look, does the chat want to see Feldman versus, versus Feldman, Feldman yeah. in a legit boxing match? Does I'd everybody want to see Hell me? Yeah. Yeah. No head gear. I don't want this exhibition yeah. BS either. No, yeah. Let's yeah. do it, man. I'm he said to me, Damon Dirt. said to me that he was going to have a, he has a child with the middle name of charity. So that's where the donation to charity is going to go. He mentioned that to me. Hey, listen, nah, you true, shouldn't Damon? say bad stuff about me. I, <laughs> I'm help, not, you're a good I always I'm help people, man. And I love helping people. It's a joke. Relax. Wow, I never. I know. I'm serious. Yeah, now he's all swelled up and stuff. He's pissed. Again, this thing is. It all starts off. Is, no, no, it's funny games, you guys. guys. You fucking bring me on the podcast and talk stupid shit. Now, if you want to do it, we'll do it. All right. Oh, I'm not he's getting serious. Voice. All right, up. he's there storming you. off. There he goes. That that that. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was cool. That, that, went, that, yeah, went, from that went from zero to. <laughs> I, I, I barely even lit his fuse. He didn't fuse. want to be late for lunch. I think. <laughs> what happened there, Dave? He got upset. I, I didn't barely even spoke to him. <laughs> he's all right, man. He's I hope so. Right. I hope yeah. to be in celebrity boxing. Right. I don't think he took his medication. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I love oh, no. him. I know Dave for oh, quite some time. Back. Great guy. Headphones there for you, buddy. But, you know, you never know what to expect. It can go from from very nice and cordial to you said something you shouldn't have. Yeah, look, Damon, Damon again, I, I was busting his chops. He does. He does help people. We see that with the Feldman family. Dave likes to help people. I enjoy being a part of that, too. And, and good luck with his celebrity boxing coming up. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing him do well, too. And nah, uh, it's, it's going it's to be a fun event. I am going. I'm actually looking forward to it. I mean, got all these old school guys there. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. That's going to be awesome. So, okay, that was chaotic. I love that. That was insane. So, are we going to see a fight between you guys? What's the chat saying? Somebody well, let's, let's, let's serve what we were talking about before. I don't before remember how this. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor Starling. Yeah, and I mean, the champ. I, I, is that look, a match? Is that a match that's, that's I mean, she's 3 and 0, and, and Christine's calling for it. Um, Taylor actually called for it, I think, first, yeah, right? Taylor called it out. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I just noticed some of the comments going around, and everybody said that's the fight that has to be made. So, yeah, I mean, why not? Let's let's see if we can, um, you know, 
put pen to paper on that one and make that thing happen because so, I think I, feel, I mean, does everybody want it? Does yeah, we, our, our well, fans talk and they want to see it? I think they want to see it. But but we were talking earlier before you came in before the chaos started about how <coughs> maybe Taylor versus Britton Hart first or something first. See how she does there and then move her up to Christine Faria. But I that's my, that's that's what I would that's like what to say. That's my I, I would like to see her. Uh, how can she fare against a Britton Hart? Well, I mean, look, Christine's on a whole different level. She is, but on on that note, I. Um, Taylor was at uh, Christine's guy. fight in Montana. <laughs> oh, Taylor so was at her fight in Montana. Let and me said, pick up my broken oh, wire. I, I want to get this sound bite right, so she just spilled stuff everywhere. But look, I got my format to wipe it up. Dave, can you move your mic a little bit? <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Your oh, mic's man. blocking your face there. <laughs> so I wanted it to block the other cut I had. Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right. Paper towels in here. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. So anyway. Let's get your sound bite. Your thoughts, Starling I mean, Misfit. You know what it is? It's... Taylor came up to me at the Montana fight when Christine uh, won out there, and she said, I know how to beat her. So, you know, no one's been able to figure that out yet except for, um, you know, Helen Helen Peralta figured that out. She uh, Barely. In, in the Barely, best women's fight, I've, really one of the best women's fights I think I've ever seen Hands in down. boxing, MMA, bare knuckle, anything. Phenomenal fight. She figured it out, but I think, you know, it was it, – that was a case of Christine kind of just running through everyone, and then finally someone was like, Stop. "Wow, I'm going to stand match. And, and you know, show you what's going to happen. Kind of like Buster Douglas with uh with Mike Tyson. Like, yeah. okay, I'm not going to let you beat me. And and she didn't. Mm -hmm. Now they never got to do the rematch because Helen went on to do some some different things. But Taylor came up and said, "I know how to beat her. I I watched her um, beat her, and I know how to beat her." So look, at the end of the day is you can't take anything away from Taylor. Taylor nope. came in like a storm, Tough. fight it at night. Um, walked over her next opponent in what a minute? It was not quick. even a minute. Yeah. And then and then had a, another fight of the night in Tampa on uh, in December. So yeah, I mean I like it. So we'll talk to the management teams. We'll see what happens. I like it. I, I, I do like it too. Selfishly, like I agree with the the Britain Beltron thing, the Britain Hart Beltron mm -hmm. thing. Uh, but selfishly as a fan though, I just want to see you know the title match. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see, but she's tough. I agree with Dave. She's tough, and she shows she's tough. But he said, Christine, the misfit, another level fighter. Mm -hmm. That's why we said it time and time at the end, the most feared fighter in the female division, a lot of people would say. And I think that uh, Taylor actually said that. I don't fear mm -hmm. you. I, I Flat out, and she looked confident, man. So we'll see what happens. It's a fight I'd want to see. But Christine is a bad, bad woman. Absolutely. And speaking of the women's division, you know, Paige Van Zandt yesterday was on Ariel Hwani. Nothing but great things to say about the organization as she, you know, co uh, co promotes, uh, you know, I guess for lack of a better term, yeah, I mean, between I her wrestling career and her combat sporting career. She said, you know, combat sports, she's not past it. She still wants to do it because, mm -hmm. you know, that's her desire. Her, that's her what passion. she wants to do. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, Ariel, you know, kind of pressing a little bit, saying, well, you don't need the money. You make a lot of great money. But that's what she wants to do. And that's, you know that's actually very refreshing as to a, hear. As a former fighter myself, Rob, if it's in you, it's in you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And and no one can tell you when it's time to stop. And and, and sometimes it's a shame because fighters stop way past their prime. prime. She's yeah. not past her prime no. by any means. She's in a spot where I think she was thrown into bare knuckle, not thrown in, but she volunteered to get into it. And obviously, uh, you know, we paid her good and it was a great partnership for us. She she was thrown into bare knuckle, had a tough fight with Britton Hart on the first fight, a close fight. It wasn't like a walkover. Mm -hmm. I mean, Britton won, but, you know, it wasn't like Paige wasn't in the fight. Her her next fight, same thing. Paige was in the fight with Rachel Ostevich, good fight. And I think she's learning this as she's going. I mean, I can't keep saying you know, for any fighter, they're going to get learned. They're going to learn. They're going to learn. She's going to learn now, or it's got to click. It's probably point, going yeah. to be the end of the road for her. But you know, I, I actually had a talk with her yesterday. I was in Miami at um at her manager's office, and and we talked to her, and she's very very excited about coming back. And all right, you got a scoop. We got a fighter. We got a we got a deal. <laughs> yeah, we, we can talk about what's going on. Yeah, Listen, Ariel Hawani does it all the time. He keeps pressing until he pulls information. Well, so let's hear. What do we got? Fight. What do we got? We don't have a fight, but I think we uh, got a date. I can probably give you a date. Okay, a date. Sure. Love a date. This is wait, where's like any, the where's the breaking news to provide? Thing? So listen, I want to break some news for uh, it all my all my um over the pond uh, over the pond fans at BKFC. Man, we're going to uh, London July 9th. We'll be July 9th. In, 9th in, in London, London July 9th and it looks like Paige will be on that card. Really? Wow. All right, man. Uh, 
Is there some UK female fighters that I'm uh, trying? I'm, that's I'm going cataloging my head who the well, fight that's is. That's what yeah. I wanted to put out here to our friends. You know, if Connor Tierney's watching, Ian's watching, any of our guys over there are watching, James Lilly. You know, if you got any girls over there that you think can step up for Paige, that would be, you know, something good with some of them um, bare knuckle women that they have over there. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. And then the following month, August 6th, I just actually just finished a contract for that. We'll, we'll, we'll be in the. Uh, in Rotterdam, which is in the Netherlands, on uh, August sixth. Awesome! Wow, dude, that's do we have a outfits. do we have an arena yet for London, or do we know where we're going? In? It's, it's at Alexandra Palace. A palace. A palace. Wow. They're letting us in a palace. Ruffians like us. Palace. Great that, first name. Is that something we'd see uh, <laughs> Connor Tierney on? Yeah, I, th I think for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward oh, to man, that'd be a banger. Right, Connor, Connor Tierney in, his in his yeah. Home. Oh, Can man. I? Yeah, I know your best friend. Yeah, I know your best friend over the pond as well, <laughs> Tyler. Good oh, job. Oh, we got to. Yeah, <laughs> bring back T about Tyler T -G -G. At, at the end of the day, is look. You know, sometimes I do knee jerk reactions, as I said when I, you know, took um or said I was going to do something to the fighter's purse and blah blah blah. You know, look, I'm so passionate yeah. about this thing. I love it, right? Mm -hmm. And when something goes bad, you know, sometimes I forget that I'm the president's organization and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm the Dave Feldman from, you know, the old days. So, so I say things I shouldn't. And I probably said something to Tyler I shouldn't know this. He said something back. But look, that's water under the bridge. He's he's a British fighter that can fight his ass off, and he would be great for that card. So one hundred percent, we're making, making the event right boom, now. Boom, let's go. Boom, let's match make it. We're shook. Connor Tierney, Tyler Good John. We got Paige Van Zandt. That's a monster card. Uh, this I is got huge. A, I got a big Woo. name for the top. We're just working on that right now. Uh, really, for, more former former British heavyweight champ of the world. Um, uh, from obviously from the UK heavyweight champion. Former heavyweight champion, former cruiserweight champion, put two and two together. I think chat is probably going nuts right now. The DJ, chat's going nuts. DJ Tony's listening. It's He's going to have to work with Connor Tierney on the playlist for a <laughs> London show because we need like the five best songs for uh, you know get get them fired up. Absolutely, That's right? Because uh, those DJ, those DJ London crowds. Best, Let's extend it. Let's those extend UK the crowds out of, are nuts. Yeah, I want I want all the old school like boxers. Um, the you know the Ricky Hattons with their amazing walkouts. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, they're, they're, the crowd. Well, I remember when Tyler fought the first time and you wanted to do. They're gonna do soccer you were trying to get a um, dude. I wanted pipes and everything. I wanted the whole <laughs> band <laughs> and, and walking them out. It's gonna be nice because Rob wanted the bagpipes, the whole band, everything to walk through the Hard Rock Casino, nope. and they're like, "Yo, man, what's this guy doing here?" <laughs> and having a parade. <laughs> He's got a parade through the casino. <laughs> People are dropping hundred thousand yeah, dollars bets coming through with the marching band. Things going on this year. It's crazy. Look. Is you Exciting. know like three events in um in April, three events in May, four events in June, four events in July. It just gets busier and busier um, internationally and in the United States. Um, some big signings. I actually just got back from Miami yesterday, like I said, and I uh, negotiated a few new contracts, and we're going to drop them on Monday or Tuesday as soon as those contracts are signed. So some real exciting Excellent. stuff is happening for BKFC right now, and I you know I couldn't be happier. Um, of where we're going and this partnership with Triller is uh is is very good for us because they're letting us do exactly what they said they were going to do That's we're awesome. going to be the the raw pure authentic sport that we've always been and they're just going to you know help us with some influencers and get some more eyeballs on it and not interrupt the show at all so it's going to be amazing looking forward to that man it's just you know it's a great time for us man I'm 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 very I'm this as stressed as I ever was, but I'm not as stressed about certain things now. It's just, it's just about, you know, we have, we have targets, we have goals and we got to mm -hmm. hit them now. And before it was like, let's put a show on. Okay. And then, you know, you know, you, yeah. you guys were here since the beginning. Yeah. And then the next one I'd be like, okay, I think we're going to do another show. <laughs> I think I rounded up the money for another show. Let's and figure out like, how we're going to do okay, it. Okay. I think I found the money for another show. And now it's like, look, we don't have to do that anymore. We have a whole two years plan now. We're ready to go. And I think we're going to blow this thing up. Well, I think, I think we're going to blow it up. And, and I want to share something that I think is interesting. You know, everyone thinks, oh, yeah, it's business. You want to make money, right? But in private conversations that I have with you, Dave, it, to me, you seem like it's more about building a legacy. And, you know, one day your grandchild or something like, oh, my God, my grandfather built this. Money's very important. But the, the making history seems to be really important. Yeah, but you, you know what? The money comes and goes, man. Legacy, um, pride, you know, everything that you put into it, it it doesn't go anywhere. And I mean, it stays with you forever and, and generations to come. And, you know, I have the opportunity now, like I said, you know, and I don't think we talked about this last time, but I talked about it on, on the Ariel show, like I had an opportunity to do different deals that were better for me and they weren't good for you guys. This deal is good for me and for you guys. So Look into the camera and say that, please. This deal is good for everybody. I mean, if we hit our targets next year which are very attainable targets for us so if we hit our targets you guys lives are changed and that's what makes me happy right we can do that and then it takes 
you guys don't have that stress of, oh, can I pay my bill next week? Can I do this next week? You're like, look, I'm comfortable enough to just focus on growing this thing and not having to worry about this and that. And that's when it becomes fun. Like it was so very fun for the first two fights. And then it got, it, it, it lost its fun because we were just trying to survive. And now it's going to be fun again. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I mean, I'm smiling again. Like, So if I do something fun. crazy, get arrested, you you can bail me out and, and handle all the legal <laughs> ramifications. We can well, I can go what are you crazy. planning, Rob? What are you planning? I, I I'm thinking old school, like WWF style. Get a, hop a rail? Get a tank and we roll up to uh, <laughs> get some fighters and we take over an arena. <laughs> Uh, and, I'll, and I'll look, watch. we're going to be um we <laughs> are looking outsiders. we're looking to make right. some acquisitions here too as bare knuckle fighting championship yeah, too, wow. to um sucking up some other promotions around the world oh cool i mean it's just an exciting time for us man i i'm i'm finally smiling again like i'm still not sleeping but i'm not sleeping over over different things i'm thinking about the Excited. possibilities now except you know not thinking about oh my god are we going to do this are we going to do this look you guys were there you guys have been through the trenches and when we can tell the story you guys are going to understand what the struggle is really with this has been this truly an unbelievably you know um phenomenal struggle <laughs> yeah, it was a struggle a but it's a lot but we're you know we got to a place where some really great people and not one group but four different groups were very interested in giving us a lot of money to help grow this thing you know i just don't want people to think like like triller came in with a great deal for us it's a phenomenal deal for everybody but it's not something like we all of a sudden are all but let's pause let's pause on that. let's pause God. on that really fast and i i want it to be very clear for how this how this transpires for the fans or how this transcends for the fans at the end of the day, right? So everything sounds good. It's like, all right, well, he's doing it for himself. He's doing it for his crew. He's doing it for his family. Makes sense. But at the end of the day, without these wonderful deals and these opportunities, you can't go out, push and sell the business, book these amazing fights, get these huge arenas. And, you know, that's that's kind of, I think we need to elaborate well, a little bit more on about, that. Look, we're going to be able to, take care of the fighters the way they deserve to be taken care of as we always we have always done but now we can do it a little better we can um we're finally launching that pension plan that's going to be launched here it actually was launched for the um they don't even know but it was launched for knuckle mania and and, and going forward but we're we, we're actually able to put that together which is you know like again you talk legacy like that's mm -hmm. going to be talked about for generations that's to come, right? it's the first pensions combat yeah. sport company to ever so when i say that there was pensions in combat sports before like the international boxing federation created a small pension for champions only and then they did away with that but we are the first combat sports promotion ever to start a fighter pension and it's for our fighters because look without our fighters who the hell are we we're nobody right no, we're they sitting bleed for us awesome. they break I for agree. us mm -hmm. they do everything and listen i don't want to also send the wrong message off like it's not like it's not life changing stuff for them, but it's something that I've been in combat sports my whole life. And I've seen these guys make millions of dollars and end up with zero. So if they make, make millions of dollars and they end up with a couple hundred thousand at the end, you know, when they didn't even know they had it, that's a great thing, right? It, yeah, it comes back to them when they really need it. We, we are making them wait. It's a seven year holding period from their last fight. So they can't just, do their last fight and dip into it and then it's gone right there mm -hmm. so it's when they're really going to need it and look if they really need it in that time they can break it and get it and i'm going to have all the details on it and we're going to make it public and we're doing a big interview on that um and probably in the next two weeks but you know that type of stuff and being able to put on these great fights and being able to take care of the fighters better and I think we take care of the fighters pretty well, but I would love to do better. And if we can do better for the fighters, because mm -hmm. without the fighters, we're, we are nothing. We it's really true. aren't. They go out there and they fight their asses off. Like, it's the best. I, I mean, the New York fight, I'm literally sitting there like this. Like, I mean, I've been, to, I've been to thousands of boxing matches. And, you know, now I can not fall asleep, but just like, you know, I can have a conversation during a great fight yeah. because it's not the same. This, I'm on the edge of my seat every time. I'm a fan of this. I love it. And Can't because blink. of that, I want to take care of these guys and girls. Because when they come out of the fight, you know, busted up, I'm like, wow, man, they got to get taken care of. And yep. and we're doing that. So we're we're stepping it up now where we're going to be able to do that a little bit more. Now, look, it's not just completely changing. Like, Troy didn't come in and make them wave a magic wand and say, here's millions and millions and millions of dollars. Now go pay these guys, you know, go retire them. That's not going to happen. But we're going to be able to pay them more, treat them better, give them more opportunities give them more platforms to fight on so more eyeballs are watching this now and because more eyeballs are watching this now they can get more sponsored dollars nice. for instance we're still always going to be on the app the bare knuckle tv app that's our home that's where we're going to be i don't want any mistake made there but now we have like 
for instance, um, we have Star, we have a deal with Star Plus. Star Plus is ESPN or Disney owned Latin America. So now we're in 48 million homes in Latin America. 48 million? We just did another deal for the rest of South America yesterday, which is 44 million homes. So that's 86 million additional homes now we're in. Doesn't mean 86 million people are watching, but we're in an additional 86 million homes. And we just did our deal with Fox Deportes, which we just locked that up. So now we're going to be in the Spanish speaking homes in the United States. And that's another that's huge. about 30 yeah. million homes. So if you add that all up, that's like 110 million more homes we're in. Again, doesn't mean they're all watching it, but now it gives them opportunity to go to a mm -hmm. sponsor and say, we had the availability to be in a hundred and something million homes. So the way it look, it kind of works is like two or three million extra people are going to watch this thing. Mm -hmm. So if you got two or three million more eyeballs on this thing, they're able to go to the sponsors and make more money for them. So that's what I'm saying. Everybody opportunities wins. here, yep. um, different resources to get to those opportunities. I love the guys. Look, man, you know, you want to say like, you know, my wife was like, oh, you got a man crush. I don't have a man crush. Like, <laughs> Connor Tierney, I was like, yo, this dude's a star. Yeah. This dude is going to be a superstar because he understands that you promote yourself, you fight right, you act classy, you do everything you're supposed mm -hmm. to do. And, you know, I think I think he's going to be something. But he, then again, look, we got some bad dudes in, in that division. I mean, yeah. you know, he had his first fight against a very, very tough guy, right? But he's got he's got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. But we'll see where that goes. No, what I'm just saying here is that these guys and girls, they're like, like I look up to them. Like I know some of them go, oh, I look up to you and thank you for giving me the opportunity. But I look up to them. You know what I mean? I, I look up to them for as tough as they are to, to be able to do that for their family. And, you know, I want to be able to help change that. And we're going to do that. And that's the great thing about this new partnership is I think in two years from now, I really truly think in two years from now, we're one of the top three all combat sports promotions, not just MMA, boxing, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, you know, every bare knuckle, everything there is, we're, we're probably being the top three of promotions in the next two years. Now, I don't know if you just saw that come up, and I hate to hijack what you're talking about here on the screen. I think they showed it to the people watching. It says, Tierney Talks, get me Joe Elmore or something over America versus England, and I'll sell it out. So uh, could we see a Tierney versus uh, Hitman 187 Joe Elmore? Is that, is that a possible talked about match? Because I would love to yeah, see that. Joe's, 100%. Joe's tough. I mean, Joe's coming back 100%. He we're is? Actually, Good. We, we've been supposed to be talking, and we kept missing each other, but we're going to talk tomorrow. We're going to uh, knock out his next contract. He's definitely coming back. He's, he's probably going to fight a guy like Conor Tierney or someone that makes a lot of sense because Joe already paid his dues. You know what I mean? He paid his dues to get to where he is now and to get people to talk about him. And now, you know, he could fight a guy like Conor Tierney, and then whoever wins that fight deserves a, you know, a championship fight. And, again, I know you guys were talking a lot about uh, Christine and, and, Taylor. and Taylor, but – you know, what about all the talk that's going on now uh, with Elvin and, and Luis Palomino, too? Yeah, well, I know. we're going to get to that. I mean, we got some good so stuff, and we don't have to, you know, talk about all that yeah. now. But I'm just saying, like, there's so many intriguing matchups to made in all these different weight divisions, and we're adding a lot more to it. Like I said, I had a phenomenal meeting yesterday. I just signed a guy, and, and I apologize that I, I can't remember his name because it's his Spanish name, mm -hmm. but he's a, he, he's 300 amateur fights, a two-time uh, Cuban Olympian. 300 amateurs? Yeah, two-time uh, Cuban Olympian. 6-0 and in, in, in mixed martial arts. He'll be making his debut on April 21st as well. Oh, cool. I mean, we just have so many great guys and girls coming over to this organization that we're just going to move up the ladder. But again, man, like, you know, I don't want this to be like a, um, a, a, a feel-good episode, but it's, it's awesome that we got to where we were able to be. And, no, you know, like, you were there with me, Rob. And then, then you were there with me too. And Junior was there with me. And Evan was there with me. And... How many times did we think it was the last show? I mean, probably 10 of, 10 of the mm -hmm. first 10 shows. We thought it was the last show. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this again. I don't think we're going to be able to do this again. And then to get an offer like we had with Triller was just, you know, I remember that night like laying in bed and going like, Oof. somebody just offered us that kind of money. Not just money for us, but money to pay off the investors, many, money to fund the company, and then a little bit of money for us, right? So, and, and stock options and everything that could... Like, you know, I, I was reading the employee contract the other day that you guys are going to get. And I'm like, oh, I never had that. <laughs> I never <laughs> had that. That's pretty good. So you guys got a employee, great opportunity. I'm just saying, oh, like, man. you, guys, HR, have, you guys have a great opportunity. <laughs> Rob, yeah, Rob's not going to the yeah, show we next do week a, now. We do have a conduct <laughs> policy in there, Rob, and I, uh -oh. think, I think you should just walk out before, <laughs> you, leave. Be, before you're walked out. <laughs> but anyway, man, um, you know, it's great I'm being here with you I'm excited that man. we were not talking about it. I'm excited, and we've been keeping on our wraps for a while. I think with the, with the Triller deal, with the influx 
of all the exciting things that are coming down the pipeline, the most exciting thing to me is the new BK TV app. To me, awesome. that's everything. It's gonna be yep. awesome. This has been something that has been in the works since day one. Uh, the rollout of what the app is now, it's is nowhere near as to what our goals and ambitions are for it. And the new app that's coming out and how gorgeous it is and how engaging you can do gorgeous. everything and, on it. And more gorgeous. importantly, how ma- it is. Dude, and more importantly app, though, more importantly tickets, or, but it, how how functional it is. So exactly it works. We want to let you know that we know it works. We know <laughs> that 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 the fans have had trouble getting into the app at times and we want to rest assured this is a company that works with NFL teams and works with major, major organizations that okay. is building this new it's app for awesome. us that we're going to launch on, on the April 8th show. Um, and they're a full blown launch in May because we want to, again, iron it's out be any a soft kinks. launch. Yes. And I want to preface that, that all apps have their problems. Absolutely. Oh, no, the SPN plus has 100% problems. They do. Look, look, but I mean, look at the end of the day is we know that our fans would go, you know, sometimes they would go, the app is, is the best value in combat sports. It is. But they would also go. The app sucks. I can't get in. <laughs> it doesn't can't work. Do this. Well, I can't that, do this. here's yeah. the issue with with all that because it's it's internet based. Where people are used to stuff being broadcasted from a satellite dish. You turn the channel. It's always on. This new medium we're using that's that's app based, internet based. You you may have shitty internet and you may not be able to get in. And then they'll just go and bash us and say the app's not working. But there's a lot more problems that you may run into. Um, but yeah, all if, the th- you know all the I mean? new changes. Yeah, absolutely. There, you're going to have your quirks. All yeah. the new changes, though, with the new app, is going to resolve 99. percent Oh, of that. for sure. Yeah, 99 percent. The previous the issues new, that we've had. The the new additions to the app, like you know, the, you can look up any fighter and see all their stats. Yeah, and, and, and awesome. the rankings Fight and fighter. news. It's like it's like when you wake up in the morning, you go on Twitter to see what's going on in the world. You can all wake right. up in the morning, check the BK, you know, BKFC app, see what's going That's on. Right. In the world. All right. All right. All right. Evan said it. Evan what? said it. What so I'm going to unpack it. Uh oh. Rankings. Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we brought in a, um, a a company to do the BKFC rankings, and what he's doing is he's going. I think he brought in six or eight different independent um, um, writers from around Editors, mixed martial arts, yeah. uh, prominent and, and, and boxing. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. And they're gonna they're gonna have their meetings, I guess, after every fight. I'm not sure how that goes after from, every yeah, fight. From my under- month, yeah, from my so. understanding, after every BKFC event. They're going to compile the rankings, and that's going to be, you know, say that say the fight happens on a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Right. Everything will be released on Monday, Tuesday at the latest, from my understanding. Sure, sure. From the, from that previous, and all rankings will be updated. Independent body, no BKFC employees. Yeah. It's how they view it. That's so great. That's we don't have any say in it. Yeah, that's no, good. It's, it's, I've it's gotten a preview. Complete, of it's completely it. independent. And yeah. it's, it's love it or it's hate going it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Every stop, Evan just said he got a preview of it. Talk about that, Evan. Well, I got a preview of it, and, and you know, I didn't. I didn't agree with it. <laughs> um, it's gonna be, just be nice. I want to keep the writers, whoever you know, wanting to come back and do it. But I don't think it was uh, correct. In well, my I also once it comes out, yeah, but I, com- but I also think That's it's so it's, subjective. It's, we're, what is subjective? Yeah, but we're gonna have to iron out kinks because these are also. Don't forget, although you know we're getting there right now. You know, the sport is very, very new still. It's very new, and they gotta understand how that one and one doesn't necessarily equal two in this business meeting. In boxing, usually, if this guy beats this guy, then this guy probably beats that guy. But yeah. if this guy beats this guy in bare knuckle, doesn't yeah. at all mean he beats that guy because mm-hmm. that guy beat that guy. It doesn't yep. mean it. It's different. And once they understand that, I think they're going to be able to compile the rankings better and understand who you know who should be rated. And the, at the end of the day, is it it's a good thing to talk about too because you're never look when all the rankings come out when when the um. You know the tournament comes out the NCAA Double O tournament. People don't agree with all that, no. yeah. and that's good things to talk about and, you know what solves, and to bet on and things like that. When are so. the rankings coming out? Well, what solves all the rankings is who cares if you're if we're all in the uh, same weight class? You're first, you're second, I'm third. I beat you both. Guess who's number one? Yeah. So if Absolutely. you want to be number one, you want to be champion. Win. Kick some ass. Mm-hmm. That's it. You solve all the problems in the world. Kick some ass. When when are we going to see the rankings come out? I think Evan asked that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Mr. No. President, oh no, they're gonna they're gonna drop actually next week. Oh really? Next week. I'm excited yep. for that. Right. The other thing that's important is if, if, we've talked about this time and time again. It's kind of cool to be a fan, and mm-hmm. we're all fans as we work here. But it's such a an old school sport that we're making the new sport. You know, we're, we're kind of making the new things. So the fans, you don't get this anywhere else. If we're transparent, you're seeing if there's a hiccup with the new rankings committee, you're gonna see all that, and you're gonna see us adjust. And I think not even just watching the sport, but watching the business and everything we're doing. 
it's almost like a reality show. We're, we're showing, okay, we got to figure this out. You know, I think it's yeah, pretty cool and, as a fan. And, yeah. One of the things I love about BKFC is, you know, the organization does listen to its fans. You know, you'll have your trolls out there. It's like, <laughs> oh, you know, I, I want to see a 130 pounder fight. It's like, get, we, we understand, but legitimate concerns, legitimate requests. And if the people are talk, talking like, hey, this is the fight that the fans want to see. They, Dave sees it, you know, we all see it, we hear it, if it's something that makes sense. So if you have an opinion, I read only good, hands. bad, or indifferent. We read all the comments. I read only Every hands. single one. I do. So oh, and only hands, oh yeah. Only hands. I go only hands. And good, we read bad, all. or indifferent. Yeah, Drop the comments. All. Let us know. I agree with Rob because the thing is, we're gonna one of us or all of us are going to see that. We're going to come in the office, hey, did you see this, did you see this? And we might not even agree with it sometimes, mm -hmm. but we're going to talk yeah. about it in the office. And the more it gets talked about, if we see it online and if it makes sense and we know you want to see it, well, there's a better chance. Yeah. It's, you know, I think it's... I mean, for for people that. who don't know what OnlyHands is, <laughs> it's if you don't know, so there's a group on Facebook called OnlyHands and it's basically like the bare knuckle universe. Every BK promotion is talked about, all the drama... Everything you can stay. If you're just a member, you join only hands, you're going to know everything what's going on. You can really be on the pulse of, of what's going on in the bare knuckle world. And that's why we're always kind of there lurking, seeing what lurking people are saying. Right. If there's some complaints, maybe we can fix some stuff. It's that a really was, great group. That was your nickname for a the long lurker. time, Brian. With the lurker? Only hands. Oh. Only hands. <laughs> only hands. I need double hands. So uh, bottom line is only hands and all the groups thank you. And only hands clipped us last time. So I like to do this to promote our show. We enjoy reading only hands, and I know you enjoy watching the BKFC <laughs> show every Thursday. Look at that clip! That you want to? I'll take my. I'll rip my shirt off like oh, Hulk Hogan. I won't. I don't look. Was like that, that the anymore. chick magnet? That was the chick magnet. So I, Brian I mean, was a tag team wrestler. Did you have a chick strap? magnet? I, I did, but not there. Yeah, I did. That was when I had my goatee beard. I've had a You're lot of weird. Jacked there, man. I was huge. I got more jacked afterwards when I cut the. What water was your out. secret? Uh, I, I lifted very hard at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> no carbs. No, no carbs. Just but basketball three times no a week. No carbs. Yeah, I mean, shape. That's Weak, when I first met Dave from wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. He, would, he would test himself all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah, that's the chick magazine. Mozart, Fonte, Mike Tobin. That was in Pro Wrestling Illustrated. We had a whole page of that. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, man. It was really cool. Big wrestling magazine. Back in my days before I had kids and I could lift and do whatever I wanted all the time. You know, oh, you know that, right? I know that. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, Last night, I'm like, I'm going to the gym. Kid jumps on me. I'm like, ah. Oh, well, you got to lift the kid. Yeah. You got to do push-ups over top of your kid. We're going to go draw. Let's talk about Kansas. Yeah, let's talk about Kansas, shall we? So, in. got Mike. Well, let's go Richmond. from the bottom to the top, man. Right, because wind up at the top. Um, you know, we got a lot of these guys that fought for us uh, before: Kenny Lysia, Nick Valor, Tyler Randall. Um, as we go up, uh, Tony Soto. He actually just sent me a message while Tony's we're on crazy. here. I love Tony. You know, Chancy Wilson, Chauncey Wilson. Chancy, Chancy's tough, he, uh, man. That was him and fought, Nico. He fought for us twice so far. Yeah. Um, Steve Morris, L.J. That's Hembrick. Okay. All of them. I mean, all these guys and girls. I mean, it's going to be an amazing undercard. Great, great fights. They, every single one of these guys that I that I remember really, really come to fight. Um, Isaac Doolittle and Jared Warren, that's going to be a banger. The eliminator for the 185-pound strap. Um, I really can't wait to see that one. That's going to be unbelievable because anything really, Jared Warren, anything he touches, he disintegrates. Well, you know what you, I mean? Like you, he can really He does, crack. but an interesting stat that I found, if you look at uh, Isaac Doolittle, he's undefeated, right? Bare knuckle undefeated. But every previous opponent that Jared Warren has faced that has been undefeated, he beats them. I've noticed that. Hmm. That's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting stat, I thought. Yeah. And I mean, with that fight, you, you got to look at the, the reach difference there. You know, there's going to be like, what, a 10-inch reach difference, the height difference. Yeah. So, of course, you know, Isaac's going to try to make it an inside fight. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking we forward got, to that. We got, we got Marciano Hernandez, who is Nico Hernandez's little brother on, on there. He's fighting. Undefeated um, pro Gerald, boxer. Gerald Gregori. He fought for us a couple times. Uh, always comes to fight. It's going to be a great fight. And then we got this one I'm excited about because this is the one that um, – Derek Finley uh, fought everybody in the world in boxing. Like yeah. uh, I think he fought like 12 different world champions. He's been in there with everybody. He's fighting Jake Lindsay. He didn't, you know. I mean, he came out. He had a great fight on, on his on his first um, timeout. But you know, it's it's different. That's why I say about this sport, it's different. It's so different. It's not bare knuckle boxing. You know, and people sometimes go, "Oh, the boxer's going to have the better hands." It's bare knuckle boxing. When when that MMA guy grabs the back of the neck, <laughs> grabs the back of the neck of the of the oh, boxer it changes like the whole game no so it's just you know it's a whole different it's a whole different sport here and then we go to the main event really really looking forward to this uh candidate of fighter of the year wait a minute, wait, dave whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. i know we're gonna come back yeah, we're gonna come back that, yeah. absolutely but okay. we got dave the caveman rickles versus mike the marine uh richmond you know it's going to be an unbelievable fight uh, a uh 175 panel eliminator the winner's going to fight for the championship middleweight title 
Unbelievable. A lot on the gonna, line. It's, it, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a real great fight. And, uh, you know, look, I think Mike Richmond is somebody that um, really learned how to uh, who, how to fight bare knuckle better than almost anybody has so far. But Dave Rickles doesn't know how to go backwards. He, no, he just doesn't. walks forward. He's in your face. He comes to fight each and every time. So that could be great. And then you're right. We have uh, Jessica wait, Link wait, coming I back. Stat. I got a Crystal stat about Pittman. that one that I found, too. So if you look at the main event for Wichita coming up, right, you have Rickles. And you have Richmond. Richmond has walked into, I think, two separate people's hometowns and defeated them in their hometowns. It's in Rickles' hometown. I think that's an interesting stat to look at as mm. well. And I, when I spoke to Richmond, he kind of said, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying walking into hometowns and uh, you know, taking people out. So this will be another one for me. You know what up. I think it does as a fighter? It's, it's, it takes away a lot of pressure because the pressure's on them. They're the hometown guy. They have all their fans there. And it's almost like a no-lose situation. Look, you know, you go in there. You obviously want to win, but if you lose in the other guy's hometown, it's not as bad as you do as you lose in your hometown. Because when I lost my my solo loss in my pro boxing career, it was in, solo. but it was in my it was in my hometown, and it was. We lost sucked. it. Oh man, it that sucked. must have been rough. Yeah, it sucked. Were they pelting but, um, you, or were they? What happened? <laughs> Tomatoes <laughs> and stuff in front of you. <laughs> yeah, so, so you're Stop. saying all the pressure, all the pressure is now on Rickles, even on though Rickles. it's his hometown. Yep. There's course, more pressure yeah. on being the hometown favorite. But he doesn't really care either, man. No, so he's I just don't know, man. He just comes in. He he has that crazy walkout. He <laughs> fights like you know his style is just unbelievable. It's just nonstop in your face. All right, so put, be put him fight. on the spot, Brian. You're first. Who you got? I'm a broadcast, event. I'm a broadcast journalist. I don't make those calls. I call it down the middle, Rob. I tell you that every time you ask me. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> am I allowed so, to? Am I, uh, so am um, I allowed to say? Um, uh, I am not allowed to make that call. Rob? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not it. Actually, Rob, you're not allowed to see. either anymore. Uh, we're I'm not, not, am I allowed? I don't know. I'm so not ask saying, the fans. Ask the fans who wins. Wait a minute. Did I sign something where I can't even give my opinion on who I might think will yeah, win? Yeah, you can give a, your opinion on how the yeah, fight's going to go, but not all. who's going to win. Oh, I don't know who's going to win. Oh, you know who's going to go. <laughs> How's the fight going to go? Well, I think you know for, for Richmond to be successful in this, my opinion is he's going to have to stop him early. I think if it goes to the later rounds, I think Rickles will have the advantage. Now, it's actually a great assessment. Richmond is, I think he's very, very calculated. I rewatched his fight versus Dakota Cochran and take nothing away from Dakota Cochran. He was going into his fight with Richmond undefeated. He beat Hendricks. He beat Tyler uh, Vogel. He beat Chris Lieben. He was going into that fight undefeated. Cochran looked like a train that could not be stopped. Yeah. Richmond found the answer, and it was with that short right. And if you rewatch the fight, he hit him with that short right. So I think Richmond is definitely watching tapes on Rickles, but Rickles, you can watch tape all day, every day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Twice think you're going to be able to pinpoint you know, what is the key to success. And I think if it goes to the later rounds, it's going to be Rickles' fight, but that's... Again, that's just my that's just journalistic my opinion on it. I'm not picking right. a winner. I think, uh -huh. I think Richmond comes in similar to the way he did with uh, Cochran. Cochran comes in like a bull and just you know yeah. swings for your head. And I think Richmond's going to see that and just rip the body again with Rickles. But the that's body uh, you made a good point about going the distance because obviously Richmond hasn't. They've all ended in the first and second round. So mm -hmm. Rickles, both of his fights have been you know all five rounds. So if you know. If uh, Richmond gets cut early, maybe, and Rickles can, you know, make it bloody and messy, I don't think Richmond will have a problem with that. But we haven't seen it yet, so who knows? Yeah, that's what that's what's so intriguing. About. I mean, this is a great fight, I'm man. It's a great it. fight. I mean, you got a a guy that's very, very Perfectly mechanically matched. sound with with Richmond against a guy that doesn't have reverse gear and has all the balls in the world with Dave Rickles. And I know some people say, what well, who, whoever he fought in one of those fights that he quit, but at, at the end of the day. Mm. He showed no quit in bare knuckle. No, he at hasn't. all, zero quit. So he really hasn't. And he has a lot to prove now. So I'm Get looking forward time. to it. It's going to be a great event. All right, before I cut you off, I'm sorry. You were going back down here to talk about the female fight. Which yeah, Jessica Crystal Link stuff, um, looked very, very good in her yeah, last fight, and good. Crystal Pittman just looks better now. She she, she just looks a lot different. Um, I think after that first fight, she went back and learned it a little bit. Oh, and my man's on their card too. Um, that's going to be a great fight. But Noah Cutter, he's a guy who yeah. no who quit, no, no I, quit. I mean, Noah, yeah, seriously, always just finds a way to, uh, to man, really man. to win or to, man. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Have a good job, buddy. <laughs> Where's that guy? Did did he go into hiding, Mark Godbeer? Like Godbeer, uh, right? Mark Godbeer. Whatever, yeah, he kind of didn't end up fighting. He was going to fight. We talked he, about his main event in. Uh, BKFC Again. London, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My man, man. 
<laughs> and he's playing Kenny Kenny Lissia, man. I mean, what a what a great what a great car. Yeah. You know, I didn't really look at the car because I'm going through all this uh, deal closing and stuff now. What a great card, man! I'm excited about this. And that's one. on the that's on the free view too. The free limbs of Noah Cutter. So that's something that's mm -hmm. that's that's very. See any fighter that ever ever. I don't know how often they do get upset about being so early on the card or being on the. I've heard that before. The the free show. The thing is, that's one of the greatest spots to be. You get your fight done early, right? And the reason you're there is because you're showing the audience buy this yeah, paper. Like you're a commercial. No, not for it. just that though. These guys don't understand, Brian, that they're on on 20 different platforms for the prelims. Yeah. The the main card is on Bare Knuckle TV. The prelims are on 20 different platforms. A lot with of the, people with watch at least of a million people watching the prelims every time spread out through the different platforms. So they have way more eyeballs on Dude, them. Dude, not only that, they're setting the tone no for pressure. the night. No pressure. No, no, it's just great. I would love that. They're <laughs> just 20 the, million people dude, across the world watching you. setting the tone you. for the whole night of the card. And on top of that, they're trying to get people to over to the app to watch, pay to watch. So they're very important, the, the free fights. I, I'm a big fan of those. I look, Did I we talk, talk about no, knuckle mania the numbers at all did we no, talk about I, that we that we I were an estimated 17 million live viewers for that card worldwide so, wow really? worldwide live? yeah because we got the reports back from all the different um, awesome. international deals that we're doing 17 million live viewers Oof. worldwide Ooh. love that dude that's great that is that's great fantastic. no pressure guys <laughs> <laughs> well we, how many what? people watch the podcast well, what a what 17 a, 17 across the world you guys are doing great <laughs> we're trying to keep it like it like it like underground show that's what we're trying to do right rob yeah, knuckle mania <laughs> wow the, my first knuckle mania i thought would be my favorite card aside from bare knuckle one will always have a sweet spot in my heart because it was the first event you know ever uh in 200 years with the organization but wow knuckle mania 2 was amazing yeah. when do we have another date for mike perry yeah do we do yes well i didn't even know that you you're breaking exclusives today. I cannot tell ah, you. Oh, come, oh, come on. on. I can't. I got I, it, it it's it's agreed to with him, but the venue's not agreed to yet, so I gotta wait till the event. We have an opponent hey, in mind or opponents in in mind for him. Yes, Rob, you're not getting it out of me right now. Here's what we do right now, Rob. Because I'm reading I'm, I'm, no, I'm reading I'm getting I'm messages. Arm. I'm getting messages of these tweets and and Oh, hold up, pause. Fans, we said it. Who do you want to see, Mike Perry? fight next let us know Ariel's in the comments Ariel's please let us know us in the out. comments i mean i can't push very just... hard for your favorite fighter <laughs> who who do you want to see mike ferry mike Fer perry careful with fight your words uh, that Yo, was rob call mike that. perry right now let's get him on here I let's said get mike another perry sissy fight. pants rob <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that word that's for like the 50s uh anybody that's watching this right now it's in the office if you're up especially in mike the perry office, i'm sorry no this is important it's dude like man. not like that he's that not but this is this is anybody's in the office upstairs if if his if his office is unlocked just rummage through his desk and get these dates and the opponents for us they got to be in there okay he's it's with got, us yeah i You'll know be safe let us know i'm sure there's a laptop that we can drop <laughs> off somewhere <laughs> get to <laughs> delaware opponents <laughs> Anyway, all right. someone leaked it. <laughs> so, so before we get out of here, I think we should talk about uh, the other upcoming events. I know they had a slate that we're going to put up for that. Uh, we're looking forward to it. There's a lot of great stuff coming. It's a great time to be in the company and to be a fan. BKFC.com. You can grab the app for four ninety nine a month. Uh, of course, we have. Where's my slate, guys? Oh, it's right there. Good. I didn't see it. April. Uh, it's packed. It's jam packed. We talked about Mike Richmond, Dave Rickles, um, and Isaac Doolittle versus Jared Warren. That's going to be gigantic. That's coming up Friday, April eighth. Then a Thursday show, special uh, Thursday, this show. special Thursday show. Joey Beltron and Frank Tate. That's going to be a banger, dude. I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. And then, of course, in Great Falls, Montana, Saturday, April thirtieth, Joe Riggs versus Lorenzo Hunt is the main one there. And these are all like great, great shows. I mean, top to bottom, you can look at the card and the. The different uh, the updates of the cards should, should say, excuse me, at bkfc.com. Mm -hmm. We constantly update that for you. But I mean, it's going to be a great month of April, leading into May, leading to every month. I mean, I'm just, I'm pumped. No, it's a busy month. It's a busy year for you guys, man. Sure so is. So it's $4.99 for, you guys. for the month. You can get all this for four ninety nine, and that is I the would... best value in combat sports, Rob. Absolutely, no, I mean, look, without you guys selling it, it hands down is it's four dollars ninety nine cents, and you a get, gallon of gas. You're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I saw for three ninety nine today on the way in. I was excited. Yeah. yeah, I mean a coffee, right? You go to Starbucks and you get a coffee as per Evan, I and know. it's seven bucks. Well, the a lot of if you get the you know 
Grande. Wait, I know Grande? the guy. The Rob guy. gets the stuff with all the sugar. Nah, the- I was talk. I was talking to the guy. I'm really cool with the guy. He's a cashier at Wawa. His name is Brandon. And I was like, dude, I Wawa is a pro- local. Yeah. Conv- if you're not from here, Wawa, mm-hmm. you don't know what that is. It's a local convenience store, like a mm-hmm. Sheets, like a Quick Check, like a Seven Eleven, but better. Just so you know. God, I'm sorry. Context. I went. <laughs> Brian yeah. went on to name like all the convenience stores I want people- nobody <laughs> would know about except Seven <laughs> Eleven. It's like a Sheets, which I, well, is like in the middle of one, nowhere, they had, Pennsylvania. They, they had no. That's in Maryland as well. Uh, come on. Okay. What's the big one out in Texas? Name one, Evan. What do you have? I don't know. It begins with a. Uh, I was going to say Seven Eleven, but Seven Eleven's not as good. No, no, no. What's the big one with the the Beaver? The Beaver. The Beaver. Yeah, out in Texas, it's huge. It's got like a. I don't know. 50 Any Texans bay. in the chat? Beaver buddies. I'm watching the chat. <laughs> no, it's, it's. I forget what it's called, man. It's huge though. Once you get down, Are like you sure oh, it's not a strip hunt for the no. Beaver. Hunt for the Beaver. <laughs> you get closer, closer to Texas, you'll see a billboard for the next 200 miles the way, about, about a, this gas a, station. It's like south of the border. There's a strip club in Florida that we always pass in there. I think it's got one of the coolest names ever for a strip club. It's called the Booby Trap. Brilliance! <laughs> it's a great, great for somebody. Really, okay, they don't want us talking about that. They want us talking about tra- Where are we going with your Wawa story? I'm sorry, Rob. I was trying to provide oh, yeah. context. Go ahead. I'm out of that. Let's oh, go. come BKFC on. Tryouts, well, after March tryouts, 26. talk about uh, Jimmy Rivera while you're at it. Oh, yeah, we're allowed to talk about that now. We released that signing. So let's talk trials real quick. BKFC.com uh, slash trials. You go there. We talk about this every week. Trials are very important. We get everybody. Lorenzo Hunt always says, make sure you tell people. Well, actually, we're doing trials. it a little different now, Brian. And, Buckies. And, and I'm glad you brought it up. There it is. We just Told went you. over it the other day. So Buckies. How we're going to do this thing. Oh, Buckies. Buckies. Dude, Shout out to uh, Scott Farley. Yeah, one Thanks, Buckies is the size of like seven Wawa. Get out of here. Seven Scott Farley knows here. everything. Do not. Uh, Scott Farley. What was What's that up, to man? Goat. Scott Farley knows everything. Go, go, go. So anyway, listen, here's the way we're going to do these tryouts now. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do the tryouts. And Nate's going to go down there to this one with Scott O'Shaughnessy, Rich Clemente, and a bunch of the guys down That's there in Louisiana. Awesome. We're, we're, we're going to attempt to grab 20 guys and girls that match up in weights. And then we're going to do it. We're going to bring back Total Line. We're going to do a Total Line show. We're going to do okay. a Total Line show. And of that Total Line show, we're going to pick the top four guys or girls Mm -hmm. of that total line show and then we're going to give them a contract that's how we're going to move it up because i think just taking as we've learned some of the guys from the tryouts turned out phenomenal and some of them were like uh we didn't really see them fight before now we're going to get a chance to see them fight before we bring them up to bkfc great step one step Step one step two and then step three so if you're a viewer yep i'm sorry if you're a viewer that's cool because it's like episodic you can follow now you can 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 follow it's not just like oh we got this guy from trials you can see from the beginning as i was saying earlier it's cool because you see our hiccups with the rankings we're talking about. You're going to see these things. So now you're going to see the fighters, and you're going to follow their journey. I think that's huge so as a it's fan. Like, it's like the BKFC. So shout out. To, I, I have to say I a sh- send a shout out to Nate Shook because if he wasn't busy enough now, <laughs> you're, you're going to put together another 18 shows this year. There you go. Oh, another reason boy. to watch the tryouts, attend the tryouts, do, do well, well there, go to toe the line. And like Kick I some say, ass, I, I, graduate know, to BKFC. Even if you don't get there, you still get like almost like a, to, to meet Scott, pick his brain, get a seminar. So the next time we have trials, you can learn. You can, it's like going to school again. You learn from guys that have done it. And I think that's huge too. So make sure you get involved there. BKFC.com slash tryouts. That's cool. I'm really excited for the new way we're going to do that. And uh, I mean, that's going to be awesome. Evan, what's the other thing you instructed me Jimmy to talk Rivera. about? Jimmy Rivera, of yeah. course. So G- Jimmy Rivera is a guy that um, I watched actually coming up um, in Atlantic City um, at in a company that I had something to do with. Um, he came up through the ranks and then he went into the UFC. I think he's a veteran of 11 UFC fights, uh, two fighter the nights. This guy comes and he bangs. He's got like a dip style. He comes over top with punches. He's going to be, you know, it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous um, fight, any, any fight that he fights. And he's fighting May 6th, and we're going to have that contract signed with his opponent today, so you guys can drop that, you know, tomorrow or something. Next but week, um, tomorrow, what weight class is he fighting at? 145 pounds. 145. Yep. So I, so I want to. The good thing. Go ahead, the the reason why I was like, yes, bring him in, is because his manager said, listen, he said he'll fight 135, 145, or 155. Oh wow! So there's a guy who will fight all over the map, kind of like that win would go all the way up and down, mm-hmm. you know. And hey, maybe that's a good matchup. Well, that does but sound that's cool. something that um. This is a guy who, you know, kind of fits our style. He didn't even ask, you know, really who he's fighting. He just said, when am I fighting? And that's the kind of, you know, that's the kind of athlete. So I don't know if you even know this. I spoke with uh, (laughs) Jimmy Altair Rivera the other day, and uh, I think Evan posted it up on our Instagram. It's one of the best responses. Whenever somebody comes from MMA or outside the bare knuckle world, there's one question I always ask, and I like their feedback. I say, have you ever been hit with a bare knuckle? It's like a stock question, and Mm -hmm. it gets a lot of the same responses. You either get, oh, I've been in street fights. Okay, Mm -hmm. that was years ago. Or you get, oh, I think Chad Mendes said this, and all respect to him, 
I couldn't disagree more. I, I think it was nuts that he said it. I think Ryan Perez was also saying in the chat, what are you out of your mind? Joe Elmore was saying it. With an MMA glove, the difference in punching, you know, when you, when you get hit, how does it feel different? Oh, it's not that big of a difference. That's usually what you get. Okay. Jimmy had a great response for so many reasons. It's, it's on our Instagram. He said, bro, I've been kicked in the head with a shin. And he said, I'm ready to get hit with a knuckle. And then he went on. This is where it got better. He said, I'm not so concerned about getting hit. Okay. I'm concerned about learning without gloves to pick my shots and not do any damage to myself. And, and him saying that, that's the first, that shows you how smart he is. That shows you how he's immersed himself in this. And I can tell you this, he's excited for a lot of reasons to be here. Some people, you know, you've seen other organizations, they show up, they're trying to make a quick buck. That's not him. This guy is ready to rock, dude. He, he's he's like, bring the fight to Jersey. I'm going to do that uh, yet, but yeah. Soon, soon. His last few fights. No, but what I, what I really like about, about that is, you know, we talked about why it's different, why the sport's different, and why are the MMA fighters seem to be doing a little better than the boxers right now, and they seem to be doing that um, because of what you said. They're getting kicked. They're getting kneed. They're yeah. getting the elbow. They're getting the sharper objects is what I'm saying. Not necessarily just the impact, but the sharper objects. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of, you know, emulates emulates what a fist would be like. They, they feel they, yep. it's not like you're getting hit the first time and tasting it and then moving on. It, it's they, they've kind of already tasted it. It's just tasting like a little different. I'll so, be on. I'll be honest. I am very, very, very surprised to hear the positive reviews from so many top tier athletes like a Chad Mendez, like a Paige Van Zant, like a Chris Lieben coming into the sport. I would think it would be 50%. I like it 50%. Eh, it's not for me. They love it. it is overwhelmingly. Wow. That was fun. I know. Well, <laughs> they, they, all like, they all like the fact, especially the MMA people. I've heard. I'm it. really surprised. Paige, not me because Paige said it. I think Chad might've said it. I know Jimmy said it. They're excited because now all they have to worry about is straight up fighting, yeah. not mm -hmm. not getting tied up something, breaking a leg. They get a cut or two, but they're fighters. They don't and care. And it's kind of like Artem Lobov said after his fight with Jason Knight. His face was swollen a little bit, a lot, but his face was swollen. And he said, you know, the difference is my face is swollen. I don't even have a headache. Like it's not the concussive blows that I was mm -hmm. taking in MMA and or in boxing. It's, it's is a little more superficial damage, but the swelling goes down, you know, the damage you're doing to your brain doesn't go down you so that's that's why they really like it because they're not really like in two days three days they're almost better you know what i mean they're mm. like wow this is great and um you know well i could say it i'll say it again jimmy's very excited to be here i can't wait to see who he's fighting uh and i i want to see how he does because he seems very 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 motivated from the uh, the time i spoke with him so we'll see what he does great signing i'm looking forward to the other signings we might be releasing well we're going to be getting out of here now guys because we have a big team meeting today yeah. and meeting? i just yeah. wanted to say uh go really on. thank you to you guys you guys have, have put on a hell of a show here and i'm sorry i'm gonna pull the plug on you no I'm kidding so, <laughs> I knew thank, it was going thank, somewhere thank you to you guys you guys have been doing great thank you to the whole team and the fighters and especially the fans out there you guys are making this sport really the fastest growing combat sport promotion in the world hands down you know there's no one that even compares to the growth that we're doing in the, tra cool. the trajectory we're on right now so really really truly I you know thank you my family thanks you my team thanks you thank you guys for always tuning in and always being loyal and always spreading the good word about bare knuckle fighting thank you guys Thank you, Davis. Well said. It's a great I send off. I don't I even want to do it. They should hit yeah. the music while I was saying that. <clears throat> I'm going to follow that. Thank you. Seriously. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> I was like, let's get the hell out of here. We got a meeting. Lunch is here. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. We'll be back again next week. As Different always. channel. Oh, yeah. New channel. We'll new plug channel. the channel we'll on you. before but we get out. Cheers. The Bare Knuckle Show. The Bare Knuckle. Oh, good. Give him. Tell Say him. Say it, The Bare Knuckle Show. The One Bare Knuckle time. Show on YouTube. Okay. Yep. Anyway, make sure you tune in. Thanks again. We're excited for you to be here. And until next week, put them up, Dave. Knuckle up! Evan, put your knuckle up! Come on, do it! Ah, like, comment, subscribe! Welcome to the world of Bare Knuckle TV. Watch every live Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship pay-per-view event for only $4.99 per month. Enjoy our all-new library of content, including unlimited access to the full library of BKFC pay-per-views, behind-the-scenes access, exclusive BKFC original series, and additional live Bare Knuckle fights from around the globe. You can access it anywhere you want, anytime you want, instantly on most streaming devices. It's available right now on Bare Knuckle TV. Over 1,000 hours of on-demand content, uncut and uncensored. All here, anytime you want, anywhere you want, for only $4.99 a month. Subscribe now exclusively at BKFC.com. Bare 
Knuckle Fighting Championship returns to Wichita, Kansas on Friday, April 8th with two title eliminators. In the main event, Mike the Marine Richmond knuckles up with Dave the Caveman Rickles, both men chasing middleweight gold. In the co-main event, it's a light heavyweight title eliminator as Isaac Doolittle throws hands with Jared Warren. Plus the return of undefeated pro boxer Marciano Hernandez. BKFC 23 on the Bare Knuckle TV app. Download it at BKFC.com. Bare Knuckle